super moms. I am closer to my organization, well, getting through or starting my organization journey. Um, I have purchased the organization supplies that I need for my kitchen and I bought the things that I need to get it all organized and so I'm going to go through my kitchen organization haul. Um, I went to two stores, Walmart and Dollar Tree. Um, I couldn't do it all in <laughs> one shopping trip because I realized that shopping and Pregnancy for me does not go hand in hand. So I had to break it up and do the shopping on two separate days. Um, because when I did my Dollar Tree shopping, I ended up getting sick and I couldn't handle it anymore. So I had to hurry back home and push pause and delay the other half of my shopping. Now, I didn't get everything that I actually wanted, but I have... Um, I have everything that will work, um, and I'll go into that in just a little bit. So the first room that I'm going to tackle with organization will be my kitchen, and my next video I will actually show you all the entire process of getting it reorganized and um, basically in order and in the way that I want. So when I go through my um, supplies that I got, I will basically go ahead and explain what I'm going to do with those things. And then the next video, you'll see how I will actually put it all together. First, I will start with the items that I got from Dollar Tree. And most of the items that I got all together did come from Dollar Tree. So, and I want to do Dollar Tree because I knew that what I got would be a dollar. <laughs> so, I got um, these containers here. And um, they're just long, not um, too wide. And I got, I think, six of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I got six of them. Um, this is sort of the color scheme that I'm trying to go for. Um, I haven't ever really been big on color schemes, decorating, like I haven't been really good at that. So I'm trying to work on that because um, I'm wanting to do more, you know, at home. I talked to you all before about me wanting to work from home. And so now it's like I just I want to do more to make my house home. Um, so this is, I'm going with this color scheme because it's it's my favorite color. My favorite color used to be pink. Um, I still like pink, but I kind of chose pink when I was in, I think, seventh grade. Just kind of as a default color because we had an assignment to do. And it had to be based on our favorite color. And I didn't have a favorite color at the time, so I just picked a color and it was pink. Because I realized that everything in my room was pink. So I was like, I think I like pink. So... Um, pink was my color, but now that I'm married and then have a son now too, I can't go around rocking all this pink. So, I really like, um, the turquoise color. So, turquoise, um, aqua, teal, whatever the names are. Basically, that color I like. So, this is the closest that I could find. What I'm going to use these for, um, is for my, um, my silverware drawer. Um, so... I have the little silverware organizer and that, that thing just isn't working for me. Um, I have so many, you know, spoons and forks and knives and all and all these other tools that I use for cooking and it's just, it, it's not, it's not working. So I plan to use these to kind of get all of that organized and nice and neat. And of course this, these were a dollar each. Um, I got these. This came in a pack of four. And so each pack of four was a dollar, which I thought was cool because I was really looking for some containers that had, um, <laughs> multiple, um, 
quantities in the pack for a dollar. So this came, yeah, these are the two that I got. So this came in handy. Um, I will actually use these in, um, I'm trying to remember what I want to use these for. I think my medicine drawer to kind of like organize um, everything in the medicine drawer. So medicine drawer and maybe the, um, I call it the junk drawer because it's, it's just pretty much been a drawer to just throw random things in. So that's what I'm gonna use these for. And then I got these baskets and um, these will be used, um, I want to say, I think I'm going to use these in um, my work drawer. So I have, um, well really I have four really long drawers, um, but two of them are pretty, pretty much organized because I basically have like my little small appliances in there like a griddle and um, my Nutribullet, so things like that. So my cutting board, so it, those two drawers are pretty much organized. It's the work drawer and my junk drawer that I need to just get control of because they're out of control. Um, my work drawer basically um, is a drawer that has like a whole lot of tools and things like that and it just became that drawer because when we moved into the house the construction workers that's pretty much where they had everything and we just kind of just left it there and that just became the drawer to put um you know spare nails and um that's where the hammer is we have um like the work tape or whatever i don't know what it's called but um you know things like that light bulbs all of that is in that work drawer so in the next video i will show you that drawer because it is a complete disaster so if anything needs to be organized it's definitely that drawer so this is going to help get some of that um sectioned off all right so then i got some more of the um turquoise containers these are a little wider and not as long um and I plan to use these in the junk drawer because um, there's different things in there that um, different specific things that are in there but it's just all just thrown in the drawer so I have these that will help um, get it all sectioned off and get it organized so it doesn't look a mess um, and I think I got six of these also yeah so these will go in the junk drawer, and I think maybe two of these will go in the work drawer. So I got those and a dollar each. Um, I also got um, some labels. The labels will go, um, well, starting off um, the things in the refrigerator. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to label like the containers in the drawers because when you open the drawers I'm not sure like how you would even be able to see I guess if I put the labels like here and then when you open the drawer you can see like what goes in the container but if I already have items in the container you can already see what goes in there but I got these you know also from Dollar Tree I thought these were pretty cool because they're dry erase so I thought that was very convenient and there's 10 of them in here. So I'll use this um, to organize um, my refrigerator. Um, and I will also use it to organize um, other areas in the house. Like um, I have a drawer in the laundry room and um, I'll use it to organize um, my drawers in, the, in my closet. So, um, I may run it out. So when I do those other rooms, I may have to get some more, but I'm really excited about, um, about using these because they're dry erase. Um, <laughs> so if I mess up on it, I can erase it. So I like that. Um, so with that, 
I went on ahead and got some dry erase markers too. I have dry erase markers, but they're in like different colors. And I've learned that different color dry erase markers, you can't really see some of the colors sometimes. So I said, I'll just stick to the black because I know for certain that I can see that. So I got some um, black dry erase markers for my labels, all from Dollar Tree, dollar each. And the last thing I got from Dollar Tree is a picture frame. Now, I know it may, you know, you may be wondering, like, why why do you need a picture frame? You're putting up a picture. I mean, I'm in my dining area now, and I have pictures up. But this isn't going to be for um, a picture. I'm actually going to, um, it may sound a little cheesy, but... I, I need to do this not just for my family, but definitely for myself. But starting since I'm starting off with the kitchen, I'm going to have posted up basically like my main kitchen rules. So this will help, you know, keep me organized and keep me mindful of what I need to make sure I do and don't do so that I can, you know, keep everything together and don't you know not go through all of this and then turn right back around and sabotage it like you know just go through all this to get everything organized and neat and clean and perfect and then go right back to bad habits so that's what this will be for so I'm going to type it up and it'll be in real nice um lettering and you know not tacky looking so it'll look nice so it'll look like maybe like um like some little quote or something posted up on the kitchen wall somewhere. I haven't decided where I want to put it up at, but yeah. So and I'm gonna do that for um for each room that I go through just to kind of like, okay, this is how we need to keep this this particular room organized. And um, like I said, it's not just for my family, but really for me to help me be mindful of what I need to make sure that I do to keep everything together because I need that some people it just may be automatic for me it's not it's not um <laughs> it's not automatic for me I need a little help with that so the things I got from Walmart which is not as much as what I got from um the Dollar Tree from Walmart I got two things basically what I wanted to get uh, was one of those um, I guess they're acrylic I'm not sure what material they are because I started off wanting to say it was plastic but I'm like I don't think it's plastic but um, like the big containers that go in the refrigerator like they're big clear um, square containers Basically, they look like the drawers that are in the refrigerator, but you can get like the containers and like have them in different sizes and basically um, sort things out in the refrigerator. So I was trying to find those. They had some small ones, which could work for like where I would put snacks or something in the refrigerator, but they were like ten dollars each, and I I couldn't do it. So I was like, well, I'm going to utilize those labels and the labels should help me out um, enough without having the containers. So in the next video, when I start, you know, putting everything together, we're going to see exactly how that works out. So I got, um, I got these, um, this, this is basically just to kind of like start off with, um, <clears throat> getting my leftovers organized because it's so easy to you know just throw the or leftovers in something and then throw it in the refrigerator and then honestly forget all about it so i wanted something that had the clear lids so that um i could see um what's left over in the refrigerator and I want something that was big for, you know, when I cook big meals and I need to go ahead and put um, the leftovers away. Because um, I tend to, when I cook my meals, I tend to cook them, you know, to be big so they'll last um, a few days. 
so I don't have to cook every single day. So that would be a good start off. Um, but I'm I'm going to eventually get some actual like um, probably glass containers or whatnot that's big enough for those big meals. I have contain smaller containers, so that's already covered. Now, one of the things I'm excited about that I got from Walmart is um, this, and it is um, basically just a liner. So I plan to use this several different ways. Um, as you see, I got the I got the turquoise. So. I plan to use this in the refrigerator as a shelf liner and I also plan to um, cut about six pieces off of it and use them as um, placemats on the dining table. Right now I have a tablecloth on the dining table and I am sick of it. Um, I am sick of tablecloths. And then when you have, when you have a, a toddler too, it's is asking for a disaster y'all um because they see the tablecloth and it's like ooh, fun fun let me pull on it and then everything on the table is on the floor so um and i want him to eat more at the table also to get used to okay when it's time to eat you go to the kitchen table um but pulling his high chair up to the table just hasn't been a good idea lately because of the tablecloth. Um, so I plan to use this as table mat, table mats, and I'm gonna uh, cut six pieces. Right now, my dining table only seats four, but I plan to get a new one. Um, um, I'm not sure when. Maybe sometime this summer. Maybe the end of this summer, or maybe next year um, after the baby comes along um, but I want to go ahead and cut those pieces so that way when I do get a six seat dining table I will already have um, the mats that I need that will match um, so yeah so I'm gonna use that for that I'm thinking because it looks like it's a lot of it so I'm thinking that I may cut um, some more pieces to put maybe in the pantry. My pantry is pretty much organized. Um, uh, my, my husband and I, we observe um, Passover and Unleavened Bread, basically the Feast of the Bible. Um, so during uh, Passover and Unleavened Bread, we basically went through and cleaned everything out because, you know, you can't have anything that has leaven in it. So I pretty much, you know, had cleaned everything out and got my pantry organized then. So everything is pretty much in the place that I want it to be. And you can pretty much walk in there and look and see where everything goes. Like, you know, cereals, breads, uh, um, uh, styrofoam plates, um, uh, pasta, sauces, um, condiments. Like, so everything in there is pretty much organized. So I think I'll use this to put on the shelves because, you know, it's like those little white, um, wiry wiry however you say it um shelves so like um if you have small things that you put on the shelf they can easily fall through so i think i'm going to use this for that too to cut to keep things on the shelf and keep them from falling through so i'm i'm really excited about this so i'm ready to put this to use and then i like the color so it's going on with my color scheme speaking of my color scheme my colors are turquoise um, I'm gonna say beige because that's the color of my walls. So turquoise, beige, and brown. Um, basically, this is my curtain to my um, sliding door. <laughs> so it's brown because I figured the brown would go with the tan or beige with the walls. That was my idea of color scheming when I <clears throat> moved here and when I moved into my first house because <clears throat> this house is the same builder as the first house that I lived in and the walls are the same color. So, um, yeah, so this is like my little pop of actual color, color, instead of just the dull, neutral, beige and brown. That just looks really 
sad. But this adds some brightness to it. So I'm excited about that. So that, that's my color scheme. So I think turquoise and brown is so pretty together anyway. Um, <clears throat> um, I have a brown couch, as you all saw, when I did my 10-minute tidy. Um, and I would love to have, like, some, like, pillows that have some turquoise in it to put along the couch to kind of add some color so it doesn't look like you're just sitting in a dark hole or something but yeah anyway because i'm about to start rambling on those of you that think i'm i'm quiet that know me um i can talk oh my gosh and that's probably that's one of the reasons why i come off as being quiet because i try really hard to like not start running my mouth because i can start running my mouth and not shut up so, my items, look at that. <laughs> little puzzle in my, nobody but AJ. My little uh, <laughs> counting puzzles in my Walmart bag. Thank you, AJ. All right, so my items from Dollar Tree actually totaled up to $20 perfectly. And that was the budget that I was going for. Um, <clears throat> so, the two things that I got from... Walmart, um, let's see, um, I'm gonna say five, all right, so it was a total of eight dollars, so all together, all of this cost me twenty-eight dollars, there is one more thing that, um, I want to get, and that is some artificial, artificial flowers, um, because I have, like, tons of vase, um, vases, vases, um, from, you know, having flowers delivered and things like that. So I have all these pretty vases, but I have nothing to put them in. So they're just sitting in my pantry, um, <laughs> not being used. So when I redo my, my dining table and get rid of the tablecloth, I want to put um, some artificial flowers that go along with the color scheme and put them in the vase. So I probably will stop by Dollar Tree. Um sometime this week um before i get going on reorganizing my kitchen for the next video and um yeah so that'll be a total of 29 dollars. so i got all this stuff got all got my kitchen completely organized under 30 dollars. so i'm really excited questions <laughs> basically i have one question which is what are some things that work for you all um for organization. Um, I tend to be a good, a big fan of the, um, I don't even know what they're called, the little square basket looking things. Like you have a shelf and then you have the baskets that can slide in the shelves and you pull them out and you just have things like thrown in, well, not thrown in, but you know. Um, I like those because they're light and then if you're not using them, you can just flatten them up and put them somewhere. But I like those because they, they, they give off <clears throat> A really neat look and you got all of your junk and all of your random stuff just put out of sight and that's the goal that I'm trying to reach with getting organized um, is basically getting all this random stuff that's all over the place just getting it out of sight but in a place where it's easy to get to easy to find I know where it is and it's not like I'm not having a dig to find it but it's out of sight um, so yeah, so as I do my kitchen, the next room that I will do, um, let's see, it will either be the laundry room or my living room. The living room will be pretty easy because I really just want to get like a shelf with those baskets to put everything in because the living room tends to be like, you know, um, the grounds for just the dumping grounds for everything. So um, I don't want to keep doing that so i want to get one of those nice little cute shelves with the basket so that way any random stuff bloop, pop it in the basket out of sight everything looks nice and neat so what are some things that work for you all with organization um i know different things work for different people so that's why i am asking because maybe there are some other things out there that i don't really know about that could help me but i know that's what works for me and that's why I, at the Dollar Tree, I got, you know, the little basket containers because those types of things work um, for me. Comment 
in the comment section below and share with me what works for you, what are some um, good ideas for organization, what works for you in some of the other rooms um, in your house other than the kitchens because maybe I can um, come up with some other ideas for the rest of the house. So put your answers down in the comments and thank y'all for sharing. For inspiration, um, I want to talk a little bit about um, budgeting and being a good steward. Um, the purpose of me doing this video anyway, um, with showing what I got from Dollar Tree and Walmart, is to show that I got things to do what it is that I want to do, but I did it on a budget. Um, and I basically hit that budget mark perfectly. And I didn't want to... Well, I didn't want to go and just just buy a whole bunch of things and then you know you just just spend up all of your money and for what so I wanted to get things that were useful that were that would be definitely effective in um, keeping my home organized but I didn't want to you know break the bank and stuff um, and I know there's people out there that you know they want to buy things and get things just to be flashy and but um basically when it's all said and done like you know what have you really accomplished think about it so i'm a big believer in you know budgeting and spending your money wisely and getting what basically getting the best use out of things for <laughs> the least amount of money um I'm just, I'm, I'm real big on that. Like, I want something for the least amount of money, but I can get the best use out, out best use out of it. Um, so, basically, with going through this whole organization journey and all, and I'm, I'm looking at, you know, budgets. Like, how much do I really want to spend? Um, how much would be too much? And I know some of my family members, they make, you know, make fun of me because I, I think that things should be cheaper than what they really are. And just like when I went to Walmart looking for the containers that go in the, why am I holding this puzzle? When you, um, I went into Walmart looking for the containers that go in the refrigerator and I saw they were like, they, was, they were really $11. They were like $10.99. I was like, I can't get with that. I'm sorry. I, I can't do it. And I needed like six of them. So that would have been 60 bucks. And I was like, can't do it. I'll use my label. So budgeting, um, being a good steward over your money. You know, you, you want to do right by your money because you want it to do right by you. So um, you want to plan. You want to budget because you want your money to to work for you. So that's why I'm a big believer in paying as you know the least amount as I can for the best quality for getting the best use out of something so I couldn't get the containers that I wanted to get <clears throat> but I got those <laughs> those dollar labels and those labels are going to work just as fine so I'll still have everything organized and and I only paid a dollar instead of 60 bucks to do the same thing so think about that Proverbs 21, um, verse 5 says, The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. So, and by hasty, those people that are just like, you're in a rush, like you just got to do this, got to do this, got to spend this, got to spend this, got to do this. I, and I tend to be like that with some things, but with, you know, with money and budgeting, it's like, okay, just because you have the money doesn't mean you have to spend it all up. Um... So be a good steward, plan, and you will have abundance. But if you're just going to be wasteful and be hasty, you're going to be in poverty. So which one are you? So think about where your life is right now. Where are you? Where do you live?